I'm joined now via FaceTime by Leah Neal and Amanda Weir. They are in Rio. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. What is the scene like behind you? Um, it's crazy. There are a, a million show. people here. Oh. Yeah, we're uh, in the middle of the Olympic Park, just making our way back to the pool right now. Oh, my gosh. And, <laughs> and um, yeah, we're just trying to, like, catch a shuttle to go back to the village before our team meeting tonight. It looks so beautiful. And I know that you were just taking pictures and signing autographs. It seems like an amazing game. Like, what's it like to be on the ground there? It's... um. It's overwhelming because, you know, we just see the village and we see the pool. And yeah. so we're both done competing. And so to get out and kind of experience what the general public is here at the games is mm -hmm. a totally different perspective of it. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I got it. to go to the beach for like 40 minutes this morning. before <laughs> I tried to yeah. squeeze in a little beach yeah. time with my family uh, before prelims. So it was so pretty. Like definitely like getting out of the village and like just seeing how pretty like Rio is. is really cool. It's so cool. So you guys both competed on day one in the prelim of the four by 100 freestyle relay. I mean, this, this is not your guys' first Olympics, but I still feel like every Olympics is special. What was it like for you to put that USA flag on and walk out and compete in your race? Yeah. Um, I think for me, like, this time around, I just remember, like, in London, I was more excited than nervous to swim. Yeah. And then uh, this time, like, I was standing behind the blocks. I was like, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> like, but, like, also, like, just as excited to swim uh, as I was in London. Yeah. Um, and obviously, it's always an honor to uh, represent Team USA. And I feel like um, that, like, the message of, like, having an entire country behind us and just, like, having so many people support us, like more people than we know has yeah. like really been drilled into our heads, like uh, especially this time around, I feel. Yeah. So like that really um, like makes me more appreciative, appreciative <laughs> of uh, just like this opportunity. I love it. What about you, Amanda? Absolutely. Um, I always think it's such a privilege to be on that relay that's on that very first day, um, yeah. kind of get the team started off on the right foot. So um, that's always a really cool thing. And, um, you know, this was, I think this was the longest training camp, like time between trials yeah. and the games that I've ever experienced. And so um, <laughs> by the time we got here, we were all ready to go. Like we just yeah. wanted to race and get in that pool and do our thing. So it was cool to knock it out on the first day. I love it. So we've been following everything on social media. You guys are both so active and using hashtag Swim United and everything that's going on and then the car karaoke. This team seems so close and you guys seem like you're having so much fun. How does how is this um, team different than ones that you've been on in the past? Um, oh, I think it's younger, right? Yeah, definitely younger. Um, for Ooh. sure younger for me. I'm the old lady on the, on the women's team, which <laughs> is weird. So weird. <laughs> Does anybody teach me how to use Snapchat? What's going on? <laughs> I love it. Well, you guys uh, are posting so yeah. many pictures and stuff. And, and even with, I love that you all got dressed up for the opening ceremony. Why did you do that? Even though I know that you couldn't walk, which not a lot of people uh -huh. know. So can you kind of explain more about why you can't walk an opening ceremony? Yeah, uh, well, uh, yeah, actually, a lot of people didn't walk this time. But uh, usually people who are swimming on the first and second days of competition will opt out of walking uh, yeah. in opening ceremonies just because it's literally the day before uh, the start of competition. So that's mm -hmm. why a lot of us um, sat out this time. But um, our outfits were just, like, too cute to, like, pass up and, like, not take pictures in. Yeah. I think that's why a lot of us, like, dressed up in got our pictures even though we weren't um walking so that was a lot of fun just like uh being fangirls and like taking pictures with like Allison Felix and like Serena Williams and all that good stuff yeah very cool um definitely with the walking on the on the first or the first day before um before we get the show rolling here it's just yeah. a lot on our feet you know this is still very much in taper time for us yeah. so <laughs> swimmers know what we're talking about we couldn't stand for that long but couldn't let yeah. those outfits go to waste yeah <laughs> so last night was an intense night for usa swimming for team usa what was it like to Ooh. be in the stands there cheering everybody on i mean there were some incredible races lots of rookies just you know blowing it out of the park doing doing some amazing things what was the electricity like for you guys mm -hmm. i'm like just i'm getting goosebumps just like I know. <laughs> re, like recapping it yeah. just like thinking about last night it was so exciting like i don't know if you can tell but my voice is like 
like a little gone because yeah. I was just screaming <laughs> and clapping. Definitely. It was so exciting. Uh, we won so many medals yesterday. It was awesome. So cool. I loved watching that breaststroke. I think I um, both of those women were just just fearless. Yeah. I mean, Lily was like smiling behind the block. She could not wait to get in there <laughs> and do her thing. And she knew, she knew it was going to happen. And I love that confidence. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. I love that. I mean, uh, my voice is gone from all the way over here. So I can't even imagine <laughs> what it was like for I you. I think we heard you. I, yeah. I think so too. I mean, Carol and Joyce and I are screaming our heads off over here. <laughs> but uh <-huh. laughs> there's still, we still have so much more of this meet. What are you looking forward to as it continues? You know, we still have five more final sessions. More relays. Yeah. So Who would have known? Relays are so fun I to know. watch. Like, it's so fun <laughs> to be on the other side of it. Yes. <laughs> I know. Well, it's so much fun to watch you guys as well. So thank you for representing us so well. Thank you for calling me. I just texted Lee and I was like, hey, we want to get you guys. So <laughs> thank you so much for making the time. Thank We're you. excited. Okay. We can hear you all the way from here in the stands too. So keep okay. it up. But <laughs> thanks, ladies. It was so good to see thanks, you. Ari. Right, thanks, Ari. Thanks, Ari. Bye. 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 <laughs> Do you want to get involved in the funnest sport? Now it's easier than ever to find a swim team near you. All you have to do is go to swimtoday.org, type in your zip code, and all of the local swim clubs in your area will pop up. Find one, jump in the water, it's as simple as that. And tweet at us using hashtag swimunited and let us know about all of the strokes that you are trying. We'll see you in the pool.